This picture shows Lieutenant Alden C. Johnson crew and the B-17 Lady Astrid. They failed to return on October 14, 1943, three days after the picture was taken. Lady Astrid, US Air Force serial number 423176, was a B-17F model manufactured by Douglas and was delivered to Cheyenne on March 10, 1943. It was assigned to 336 Bomb Squadron 95th Bomb Group at Framlingham on May 21, 1943 and nicknamed Spook 2. Then moved to Horham Air Base on June 15, 1943. Spook 2 flew two recorded combat missions with the 95th Bomb Group before transferred to 527th Bomb Squadron 379th Bomb Group at Kimbolton on June 22, 1943. Later moved to 524th Bomb Squadron of the same group. Spook 2 was renamed to Lady Astrid by the pilot Alden C. Johnson for his wife Astrid. On October 14, 1943, the Black Thursday, 60 B-17 bombers were lost on the second mission to Schweinfurt, Germany. One of them was Lady Astrid with Lieutenant Alden C. Johnson crew. The B-17 was damaged by a Messerschmitt 110 and lagged behind the formation. Then hit by flak in the waste area and exploded. Six of the crew were killed, including the pilot Lieutenant Alden C. Johnson, who was killed by gunfire in the catwalk while trying to bail out. Four men of the crew landed safely. One of them was the co-pilot 2nd Lieutenant Rowan E. Holzberg, who accounted the following. The call to bail out was given after being attacked by a fighter. I made my way down to check on crew, see if they all bailed. The interphone had gone out, when suddenly an 88mm exploded in the waste area. I was wounded, and I believe the bombardier was as well. I saw that it appeared to be total destruction of our waste section, and all there were either dead or unconscious. There was no way to reach them. I believe all were dead. The rest of us bailed just before the ship exploded. Lady Astrid crashed in the Nimburger Forest near Dornheim, approximately 45 kilometers or 28 miles south of Schweinfurt, Germany. Other sources said the crash site was near Dornheim, west of Darmstadt, Germany. But this is not correct. The German document confirmed Dornheim, south of Schweinfurt. One German flak unit at Schweinfurt, the heavy flak unit 482, also wrote a combat report for this day. The information are as follows. On October 14, 1943, from 1435 to 1437 hours, the aircraft was engaged on its approach. At an altitude of 6000 meters, the velocity was 110 meters per second. The formation numbered about 60 aircraft flying from 08 to 02, eastward Schweinfurt turned to the south. The aircraft showed dark smoke trail after hits on the left engines. Later, it lagged slightly behind the formation. Evay's actions were not recognized. Total victories, 14 kills, 11 of them by flak. It fired several companies of 8.8 cm flak. German fighters were in the airspace, but none could be seen at the formation. The weather conditions were sunny, cloudless sky and clear visibility. All damages and losses did not occur. At 14.55 hours, the aircraft crashes in the direction of Dornheim after some parts fell off. Fire on impact. Unteroffizier Hermann Richter of the Wehrmacht reports his observations. I translated his German report into English as best I could. Quote, I was on the Iron Tower on Schwanenberg near Ipfofen as an observation post during the attack on Schweinfurt on October 14, 1943. From here, the approach of the enemy aircraft from the Schweinfurt area could be closely observed. 
encountered a total of 228 aircraft that flew nearby our observation tower on their way out of Strymford. When the enemy aircraft left Strymford, heading to the direction of Nuremberg began and the aircraft flew nearby our observation tower. I saw at 1450 hours that one aircraft peered out of formation to the left, lost altitude and hit the forest near Dornheim with fire on impact at a distance of about 10 kilometers." Unquote. The German soldiers who inspected the wreckage of Lady Astrid counted many holes in the top of the fuselage, some of them 3 cm in size, indicates at least one flagship penetrated the aircraft and exploded in the fuselage. The aircraft must be broken apart in the air because the tail section, the fuselage and the wings with the engines are about 300 meters apart. Lieutenant Alden C. Johnson's wife was pregnant with his son when he lost his life over Germany. The other man on the picture couldn't be identified so far. I hope it was an interesting video about the B-17's history. If you want to watch more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.